dear students in this video i am going to discuss about hydraulic modification techniques how a water logged area can be modified to make it suitable for construction activities okay first of all we will see the drainage and dewatering techniques drainage is the process of removal of gravity water from a soil mass in order to keep it in a stable condition for construction activities it is classified as surface drainage subsurface drainage and subsurface drainage is nothing but dewatering there are different methods for dewatering in general there are five methods first one is open sums and ditches second one well point systems third deep well drainage fourth vacuum dewatering system fifth dewatering by electro osmosis method we will see one by one how these methods are done first one is open sums and ditches it consists of a sum below the ground level of the excavation at one or more corners or sides of the construction site a small ditch is cut around the bottom of the excavation to prevent standing water okay so so that the water will be drained out this is the most economical method for installation and maintenance which could be applied to most soil and rock conditions and majority of the construction sites adopt this method you might have seen this here it works you see there is a sump and the initial water table when it is drained the water which is collected in the sump is pumped out then thereby the lowering of ground water table you see initial ground water table was here and when the water is pumped out from the sump the water table comes down okay and the water moves to the sump this site is consists of uh, sandy soil next one is well point system a well points are small well screens of diameter 5 to 80 mm and of 0.3 to 1 meter in length these are well points these are installed in the ground by jetting them into the ground like what you have seen for that uh, vibro flotation deck Uh, it 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 may require heavy machinery like that but it is pushed into the ground the capacity of a single well point with a 50 mm riser is 10 liters per meter cube of soil the spacing depends on the permeability of the soil so initially the site engineer should have some idea about the engineer in charge geotechnical engineer in charge should have some idea about uh, the soil parameters or the soil properties okay in the site then he decides the uh, well point system this may work like this standing water initially this is the excavation okay when the well is drilled into the ground okay so when water is pumped out the automatically the standing water level comes down okay it may be like this so there are several such well points in a site so that is called multi stage well point system so initially this and this may be the only wells available as the water table initial water table which came down to this level then another set of wells are constructed and so it is excavated from here okay for the construction activity so this is the multi stage well point system so that you can construct and excavate up to any depth according to the site condition okay. you see here the after the first stage it the water level comes down to here water table and the second stage again it came down to this level like the likewise it will it will be lowered shallow well system shallow well systems uh, comprises of surface pumps which draw water 
through suction pipes installed in board wells okay so this is used for uh, draining water from shallow depth deep wells are used mainly for depths greater than 8 meet okay so the boreholes are sunk into the ground and water is drawn out using different wells this is one set of uh, such well constructed here this is a schematic you can see here water is drawn out using this it goes down so this is the initial uh, natural water table then it is lowered to this level deep well drainage deep well drainage system consists of deep wells and submersible or turbine pumps okay this is heavy machinery uh, heavier than uh, what is used for shallow wells deep wells may be combined with well point systems on certain field conditions for lowering groundwater tables this method is also suitable when a great depth of water lowering is required i mentioned in the earlier slides uh, low level as well as deep levels are they are in sites so this is a schematic you see here deep wells are used okay so water table was here and then again it is pumped out it is lowered again using another set of pump and wells vacuum dewatering system is a gravity method such as well point systems are actually uh, not effective for uh, low permeable soil so uh, vacuum dewatering techniques are used in such cases okay this method is most usable for layered or stratified soils with coefficient of permeability of range 0.1 to 10 raised to minus 4 cm per second so very low permeable soils you can use vacuum dewatering techniques uh, this is a schematic of that vacuum dematter a vacuum is formed around the uh, draw down pipe or well so that water is sucked out uh, another one is uh, electro osmosis technique for dewatering here an external electro motive force is applied across a soil liquid surface the moveable diffused dove layer is displaced tangentially with respect to the fixed layer this is electro osmosis so upon application of electro motive force between two electrodes in a soil medium uh, the positive ion adjacent to the soil particles and the water molecules attached to the ions are attracted to the cathode and are repelled by the anode free water in the interior of the void space is carried along the cathode by viscous force by making the cathode a well water can be collected in well and then pumped out you see the schematic here water is collected through the cathode using well okay so here also So this is the or original water table. It is lowered by this method. So these all are the uh, general methods used for hydraulic modification. Okay. We will meet with other videos later.